Let's move on to the next theorem, which is fourth one insofar as our videos are concerned. This theorem says that if there is a chord, if a chord is hit by a line from center of the circle which bisects the chord, then it has to be perpendicular to the chord. So let's say this is O, which is the center, and there's a chord which comes down from here, such that this chord bisects, or this line actually, bisects this chord into two equal parts. Let's say this is A, B. If that be the case, then angle, let's denote this point of bisection as point C. Angle ACO is equal to angle OCB is equal to 90 degree. So what this theorem says is that if there is a line from the center of the circle which bisects the chord into two equal parts, then this angle has to be 90 degree. This is converse of what we saw in the previous theorem. Let's see how we can prove it. So the first thing we do is we construct OA and OB. We know OB is equal to R, OA is equal to R, okay? Now, please note that in triangle OAC and triangle O, I guess there's something wrong going here, and triangle OCB, in these two triangles, there is one thing that you need to note. What is that? The thing is that if these two triangles are congruent, then angle ACO will be equal to angle OCB. But what we know is that AB is a straight line. Hence, this complete angle is equal to 180 degree or angle ACO plus angle OCB is equal to 180 degree, right? Let's mark this as point number one. So let's see triangle OAC and triangle OBC. In triangle OAC, OA is equal to OB is equal to R. Why? Both of them are radii. This becomes a site. Then we know that AC is equal to BC. Why? Because it is given. And OC is equal to OC. Why? Because this is common. Side, side, side. So applying these three, we get that triangle OAC is congruent to triangle OCB, which means that angle ACO is equal to angle OCB. But we know that angle ACO and OCB is equal to 180 degree, right? So we can write this as angle ACO plus angle OCB is equal to 180 degree, or angle ACO plus, we can replace OCB by ACO, is equal to 180 degree. Why? We've replaced this because both these angles are equal. Meaning two times angle ACO is equal to 180 degree or angle ACO is equal to 90 degree. How does this 90 come? 180 divided by two equals to 90 degree. But 
We also know that angle OCB is equal to angle ACO is equal to 90 degree. Right? So thus we found or we conclude that OC, this line, is perpendicular to AB. And hence the theorem that if a chord is hit by a line from the center of the circle which bisects the chord means divides into two equal parts, then it has to be perpendicular to the chord. 